Mate, how's it feeling? Butterflies in the stomach or what? Yeah, mate, I um, haven't, haven't got the smile off my face. Uh, when I got the call yesterday off Loz, um, you know, I didn't really know what to feel, but um, probably excited and happy is probably the, the words to describe it. Um, I know I'm in for a standby, but um, just looking forward to the week ahead and just the experience, even if I don't get a run. What did Loz say to you when he gave you the call? Um, oh, he just rang up and he goes, look, mate, I'm about to announce the team. I want you in the squad. Uh, there's a bit of doubt over Greg Bird, so I want you to come in and stand by for him. So, um, yeah, hoping Bird is OK. Hope he'll play. Um, he's been a big part of this squad for, you know, a while now and probably the best player. So, um, yeah, everyone's hoping that Bird is all right. But, um, yeah, I'm, mate, I'll, I'll be more than happy to... You know, get me hands on that jumper. Well, you've had, a, you've had a pretty tough run in your life. So, what have some of your, your closer family and friends said to you, knowing that you've achieved this? Um, yeah, the first person I ran was me dad, obviously. Um, he's been there from the start. Um, yeah, he was he was probably more happier than me, to tell you the truth. After I called him, he, he called me about four times last night, just seeing what I was up to, and he didn't really know what to do with himself. But yeah, I've got a lot of support from the family members so far, and. Yeah, it's just, mate, I'm over the moon. Do you sometimes reflect on your journey to this point and, and can you pinpoint something more than another that, that's got you to hit? Um, You know, I've, not really. There's been a, a lot of stuff going on in my life, and but, yeah, I can't really pinpoint one. It's just been a long journey and, you know, like I said, I couldn't really think about much last night. My head was going 100 miles an hour, but, um, yeah, like I said before, I'm just so happy and... You know, just honoured to be here. What yeah. about uh, Jimmy and, and Mitch, some of your Roosters teammates? What do they have to say? Yeah, no, he, Jimmy called me straight away and started laughing. He goes, because they were into me all week going, oh, mate, you could be a chance, you could be a chance. Um, but, yeah, so um, all the boys, I heard from a few of the boys, they're really happy for me. And, um, yeah, it's good to know that I've got the support off them too. What's it mean earning this call up this year? for you after you just played your first rep game for country earlier? Yeah, like I said before, I'm only in here for just a standby, so, um, but yeah, it means a lot, mate. Um, it's always been, or it's a dream of any kids to grow up and play State of Origin, and, you know, maybe if I don't get the chance this week, maybe it's good to know that I'm in the, in the picture anyway, and, um, you know, um, it gives me a lot of confidence going forward. What's helped you get here this year? Obviously Robbo's come in, maybe the addition of Sonny Bill? Yeah, 100%. Uh, Piercy and Jimmy and also Sonny and Michael Jennings, they've been unreal for us this year and Robbo's come in and he's brought in a new culture and everyone's bought into it. But yeah, I think um, Piercy and Jimmy, they've just made me look good this year. So um, And also playing, playing with superstars like Sonny Bill and Michael Jennings. Um, I mean, what players and you know, it's pretty easy playing off the back of them guys. Would you feel pretty comfortable playing outside Pierce and Baloney if you did get the chance? Mate, 100%. I'll, like I said before, I'll grab with both arms, but, you know, fingers crossed for Birdie. Um, I think, you know, obviously the team needs him. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, mate, I'm just looking forward to the week ahead. Could be a pretty disruptive build-up, couldn't it? Bird, Gallen, um, hey, and all massive names of this team um, under injury clouds. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, the... Gallon, Hainsey and uh, Birdie, they've, like I said before about Birdie, they've been a massive part to this team and you know they're probably the core players. So, um, But knowing them blokes, you know, they'll be doing everything they can to be playing and you know, I suppose all of them would play with a broken leg if they had to, so it's a decider and it's origin. So um, yeah, I think they'll be sweet. Whether you get to run out there or not, who will you be looking to get some advice off or learn some tips from this week? Um, I suppose everyone uh, just come in and soak it all up and you know there's obviously a lot of um, good people to get advice off around here so I won't be short of that but yeah just um, yeah soaking it all up and just really listening to what everyone has to say. Mate, 2005 was the last time New South Wales won a series, how old were you then? 2005, I think I was probably 13, um, yeah 13. 12, 10 and 13, um, still remember sitting on the couch and that. Um, even the last couple of games, sitting on the couch, getting excited and, you know, jumping out of my lounge and that. So, yeah, still a big fan of the game. 
Do you have a dream scenario like the one that's possibly presenting itself, that he could be a man that has his debut game in a series winning victory? Yeah, I, I don't think I've thought that far ahead, but it's sort of a, a you know reality now and a big chance to happen. So, mate, we'll just see what happens in the next couple of days and, you know, I'll be training like I'm going to be playing. Um, otherwise, you know, if I don't and something happens to Birdie and, you know, just so I have that mindset, my preparation's all up to scratch.